Hey guys, um, so I'm driving so I can't look at the camera, but um, so I'm on my way to the junkyard right now because I have to look for some, I have stuff on my lip, that's nice. Um, I have to go to look for a rear passenger door and a front passenger door for my RAV4 because I, I broke them. But, <laughs> um, so I will try to get some video while I'm there, and if I can't, um, then I can't, but that's okay. Um, either way, I am going to be fixing my doors, so I guess you will see when I am ready. All right guys, so let's get this video started. So the first thing I did uh, to take this door off was I had to disconnect the connector that's inside the black sleeve that goes from the body of the car to the door. So it's a little tough. Um, the only really hard part is to get the gasket that's going into the body of the car off. Um, for some reason I found that it was just kind of like, it was a funny like size and like, way it was in there so it was kind of hard like all right cool so that's all set so now what i did was i grabbed a 12 millimeter wrench and i started to loosen the bolts on the hinges so what I did was I left the hinges connected to the door. That way I would know like where they're exactly supposed to be. And I just took the door off. Which I mean I had to do anyway but I just wanted to leave the hinges on. So the doors I got did come with hinges. Um, so what I did was I took those hinges off and I just put them to the side because maybe one day I'll need them or something and I just use these ones because they're the same size and they're the same placement so it shouldn't make a difference. So like I said I used 12 millimeter and I loosened all the bolts. Then I took a 10 millimeter and I loosened the bolts on like the little hinge part that comes out of the door. So like I said you only want to loosen these um, you still want to leave them connected a little bit just because you, you're going to need someone to hold the door while you take them out completely and then have them take the door away when you're done. Um, but you can get them most of the way, just make sure it's still connected. Alright, so the next thing I had to do was swap this connector out for the one that was on my original door. The reason I did this was because the plastic part that came on the door that I got was broken which I mean something to be expected like with a used door I mean it was from a junkyard so it wasn't like a surprise but it just meant that I had to swap the two plugs out I mean they're the same size so it's not a big deal so what I did was I took a picture of the back of the connector and I drew like with like the markup app on my iPhone um, colored lines to each hole where the wires went that way I would know exactly which colored wire went where so what you have to do is you have to get like a little like needle or like some sort of small like pointy tool so you can push the little spring down on the inside and then pull the wire and the little connector out all right awesome so I didn't get any um, video of me putting the back door back on um, my camera had died and I was trying to I didn't even know. Um, my camera died and I didn't have a battery charged, so I had to wait for one of the batteries to charge. But I didn't want to just like not do anything, so I just put the car door back on. So right now I'm doing the exact same thing I did on the front, and I'm just removing the little hinge part um, and loosening the hinge bolts. So this thing has a connector too, but instead of um, there being a connector right there you have to take a piece of the bottom like panel off 
and then the connectors are right inside and you just like pop them out it's really really easy um but yeah it's it's really easy you just if you So now we're just taking off the front door just like we did the back one. So now we're putting the new door back on. We're feeding the wires through and put, attaching those connectors again. And now I'm just taking the bolts and putting them back in the hinges. And just as a side note, it was the exact same process for the back door than it was the front door. And all right, that is the door attached to the car. Um, so now I had to take the old mirror off my old door and put it on this door because it did not come with a mirror. So this was also really easy. What you have to do is remove the inner panel and there'll be two more of those nuts and you have to take those two nuts out as well. I can take a video on how to remove one of those panels um, at another time so if you guys need to see that let me know. Um, it's really easy though. Um, so you remove those three like little bolts and then you take the whole mirror off and then you do the same thing to put it back on. So you just put it on the mount and put those three bolts back in and then put the panel back on. It's really, really easy. All right, guys. So, I mean, once I had that done, that was pretty much it. Um, surprisingly, this job, it's really, really easy. Um, just finding doors cheap enough is like the hard part. So like I said, I got lucky because they were for 350, but sometimes they're really expensive. So if you guys have to do this, I would definitely I would definitely search for like cheaper options cuz I mean, like Toyota just for like the skins, they wanted like $400 a piece. So, just search around if you're going to do this. Anyway, guys, I hope you liked this video. I would love it if you liked and subscribed, and I'll see you all next time. Thanks guys. Bye.